Okay, so we'll walk around this uh, P registration. I think this one's 1975, could be 76, I suppose. Um, Land Rover Series 3, 88 inch petrol soft top. Finished in marine blue. It's been uh, resprayed at some point in the past, but actually quite nicely done. But I think marine blue is its original colour. Um, fitted with three wheel front hubs. Uh, white eight spoke wheels with uh, 205 ATR 16 tyres on, and pretty much road bias tyres. It's got bonnet mounted spare wheel, um, it's got a recovery ring on the front bumper. It's a seven seat this one, uh, three seats in the, in the front, and there's uh, a pair of twin benches in the back. As you can see, nice set of twin benches. Uh, tow bar with electrics. Let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. So it's quite a smart looking one this, um, has been repainted at some point in the past and it's not a bad job really. Um, Certainly better than a lot of uh, Land Rovers are finished, and so, so I think this um, the, thing, the marine blue is the original colour. Up around the, the, um, the bonnet here, it looks pretty good, apart from some just some paint loss on the leading edge of the bonnet along there. Um, but the light panels and the um, front panel there don't look too bad at all. Looking down the sides, it's actually pretty straight by uh, by older Land Rover standards. No nasty dinks in the front wing. There's a scratch there; it's just been touched in slightly on the front of the near side front wing but um, apart from some paint chips and stuff on the near side front wing it's all actually pretty good up on the scuttle corner here it all looks rather smart that's very nice actually all looks correct there as does the a post a um, bit of reaction that's just been probably painted over there on the base of the near side front wing near side modesty cover is slightly crinkled but near side door is all really pretty good inside here it's all pretty straightforward um, so three seats across the front which all look in pretty good shape apart from the middle seat it's got a couple of nicks in it here and there but dash is all nice you can see in the back there there's the, uh, the twin benches again um, so we've got a combine harvester in the next field that's making a lot of noise so it might not be so easy to hear me passenger door actually pretty good and the door top is fine as well the hood's in very good shape there's a couple of marks on it here and there but um, it's actually in very nice order the hood. Near side rear wing is all good. Cross member looks good from the outside. Tailgate looks good. Uh, in the back here it's all as it should be. Um, the rear window on the hood is in good shape as well. Hood I think is fairly new really. Um, looking down the offside, again looks pretty straight really. There's no sort of giant ripples or anything or um, by landing standards. A couple of chips back there on the offside rear wing. There's a large chip in the bottom of the driver's door there and there is a slight dink just there in the barrel side on the driver's door and a couple of bits of paint loss on the um, door top. A um, little loss, bit of paint loss there where obviously the driver's door has hit the, uh, the A post at some point. Scuttle corner on this side looks pretty good but I'm just losing some paint up here by the, um, by the screen hinge. But offside front wing all looks rather smart as well. And inside here, that door looks fine to me. Um, footwells, I think on both sides, yeah, they've been repaired. They've had patches put in, but um, look pretty solid for all that. That's about it, really. It's um, it's a nice, smart little landy this one. So, especially being a seven-seater, it's quite usable. Um, that's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further information. We take part exchanges, we take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards and we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like um, in the world. Um, certainly the UK and Europe is no problem. Abroad they have to go on a ship, we have a shipping partner so it's no problem. That's it, end.